welcome to the week two in Yorkie Kids. Hey Yorkie Kids, hope you've all had a really good week at school this week. Hey, did you know that in the How to Train Your Dragon movies, one of the things the Vikings must overcome before they can get along with the dragons is, can you fill in the blank? It's fear. For centuries, the Vikings lived in fear of dragons because of how much they destroyed. So the dragons destroyed lots of things in those movies. They wrecked villages and towns and they ruined lives and they had power and they breathed fire. And no Viking would dare approach a dragon for fear of being burned or trampled or even eaten. No. <laughs> Hiccup, he was hardly the bravest of Vikings. He was the least likely Viking to try to go and fight a dragon, much less tame one. But when Hiccup got to know his dragon, Toothless, he discovered that he had nothing to fear. He was able to teach the other Vikings that they didn't need to fear the dragons. They could tame them. They could be friends. That's really cool. One of the things we can learn from Hiccup is how much he is actually kind of like us. He is not a big, strong, confident warrior. He's an average guy or girl, but he's not a girl. We are, <laughs> but he's a guy. Average, and he, he worries about fears just like all of us. Yeah. When we see Hiccup overcome the, his fear of dragons, it gives us hope that we can overcome some of the fears that we actually might have. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should check out our new favourite show, How to Train Your Emotions, and see if we can learn anything about fear. I wonder. Come on, Emoji, it's time. Uh, no. You weren't afraid last week. Uh, I am now. Pretty please. No. Hey there, fellow Vikings of York. In case you forgot my name, I'm Astrid. And here once again to talk about how to train your emotions. Unfortunately, Emoji isn't cooperating. <laughs> I'm scared. She is dealing with fear. I'm sure all of you have dealt with fear at some stage too. <gasps> fear is scary. Okay, but there's nothing to be afraid of out here. Like, there's nothing. Yes, there is. You know, when you're afraid, it can make us freeze up. It keeps us from taking risks. <sighs> That's not a bad thing. No, not always. But fear can keep us from good things too. Like making new friends or trying something new or coming out here to talk to all of these people of York. Give me one good reason to come out. Because God loves you and God is in control. He is? He's always in control. You don't have to fear anything, not heights, nor spiders, or the dark. Oh, why do you have to bring up the dark? Because, oh. because you don't need to be afraid, Emoji. Of, because you don't need to be afraid of the dark. God is in control, even there. Oh, God's in control of the dark? Yes. And thunderstorms? Yes. Oh, what about when it's a pandemic? Like, I've heard it's happening all around the world. Yes, even when there's a pandemic, God's in control. <sighs> so even spiders, heights, meeting new people. Yes. <sighs> what am I so afraid of? When I'm afraid, I just need to remember that God is in control. That's the spirit. Wow. I feel so alive right now. I'm going skydiving. Woo! Are you coming with me? Um, um, maybe not. I'm kind of afraid of, oh, just a second. 
got to remember God is in control even when I'm afraid. Coming! <laughs> I'm so glad Emoji learnt how to control her fears. I mean, I, I hope, and I really hope Astrid is able to control her fears too, because yeah. she seemed a little uncertain about that whole skydiving suggestion. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> What are some things that you're afraid of? There are so many things that we can be afraid of, the, like the dark, being lost, having bad dreams. For adults, it can be like losing their jobs, not having enough money to support our families, something happening to one of our kids. I'm afraid of mild flies, petrified. I am afraid of mice. Oh yeah, I don't like mice or rats <laughs> either. Do not like them at all. No. But, but remember, we have good news for you, and there's good news for me too because of my fear of mice. Whatever we're afraid of, whatever our fears might be, there is a way to overcome them. Yep. And we'll see in today's story that there's no need to fear because, because we know Jesus. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water oh, hey guys. and even raised people from the dead. One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. And as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. The disciples of Jesus included several fishermen who were experienced with boats, no doubt knowing what to do in a storm. These men made their money on the waters and they were not the kind of men to get scared easily in a storm. The storm must have been really bad that night because all of the disciples, including all the, I mean, they were fishermen, thought they were going to sink and maybe even drown. They were, the waves were crashing really hard against their boat. The wind was howling and they were scared. They were afraid. And I think I would have been afraid. I yeah, think, I reckon it would have been. I'd have been scared. really scared. Yeah. More afraid than maybe of mice. Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> In the moment of desperation, they woke up Jesus. Just a word. Jesus calmed the storm. He showed them that he was in control, that they had no reason to fear. Jesus is God's son. And when we are afraid, we chase away those fear by remembering that he is in control. It isn't always easy to remember God when we are afraid. We can become so focused on the wind and the waves or the darkness in our bedroom or the scary thing that we think we see like a mouse, for example, that we lose sight of God. But the sooner we start to pray, 
asking God to be near us, the sooner we can find relief from our fears. Our breathing, our breathing in and out can become slower as we pray and breathe in the comfort of God. Fear is not always a bad thing. A good healthy fear for dangerous things can keep us safe. We should always be careful around the things that could hurt us, like a hot oven or a wild animal. We should always be sure we are keeping safe, like wearing a bike helmet when we ride a bike, or putting our seatbelt on in the car. But fear can also stop us. It can freeze us. From, and stop us from doing what God wants us to do. God doesn't want us doesn't want fear to keep us from doing things that he wants us to do. God wants us to remember how Jesus calmed the storm. He wants us to remember that he is God of creation, the God who saved us. He can ease our fears. God will always go with us. There's no reason for fear to, and to, or to fear anything when we know God is in control. We can thank God for his love and protection and we can move forward knowing God will be with us always. So remember your fear kids. When you're afraid, remember that God is in control. He calmed the storm for the disciples and he will calm your worst fears too. Patty, would you like to pray for us? Yes, I'd love to. Dear God, Help us to remember that you are always in control, that you love us and that you have surrounded us with people that we can talk to and pray if we are afraid. Help us to remember that we can always turn to you to help us, to help us take calm breaths. You hold us in your loving arms. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We really hope you all have a fantastic week. And if you have something that is causing you to be afraid or scared, please talk to an adult or a friend about that fear. And remember that you can always go to God and pray too if you, if you don't have somebody else to share that fear with, especially if it's a big fear. And remember always that God is in control. We'll see you next week. And don't forget to join us on Zoom at what time, Maddie? 11.30. 11.30. We'll see you on Zoom, those of you that are able to come on. Otherwise, see you next week. Bye. Bye. Hey, Yorkie kids. Oh, sorry. Is it good? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a blooper. blooper. <laughs> Can't just skip now. <laughs> um, <laughs> cool. All right, you ready? Come on, emoji, it's time. <gasps> Take two. <laughs> Don't like my voice. <laughs> hide, hide the shame. <laughs> uh, not a bad thing. <laughs> Maybe say that again. <laughs> yes. And the thunderstorms. Who's foot bro? Hi, we did too! <laughs> <laughs>